let's summarize so far. Summary of the FIR filter design. So far. So what we do is we define our ideal frequency response. Define our ideal frequency response. Yeah, so for example, a low pass filter or so. H of E to J omega. Yeah, so then we do the inverse Fourier transform. So the inverse Fourier transform that we are getting our H of N. Then three we we mirror H of N so that we're getting a linear phase filter. And then we shift it into positive time because we are allowed to do that. So step number five is then some truncating the impulse response. Yeah, so this means so after we have shifted this, so that's our H of N in the shifted version, so that's M is number Again, number of our tabs. Number of tabs. Then M half gives us the symmetry point. So what we do is we are just chopping it off here at this point here and truncate this here. So we could understand this here, this truncating, in a different way, and that's usually the way this method is called. Yeah, so we define a function w of n, and this function w of n in this case has its value 1 here, and this runs up to m minus 1 here, and just stays up like this here, and then this switches this off here, and it's obviously also zero for negative time. And a function like this is called window function. Yeah, so in this case, we have a so-called rectangular window. So for this reason, we can call it truncating the impulse response, or what we usually call this call this here window the impulse response. So that's the so-called window method.